Combination number 10. This combination looks at the overhand bomb. Now, your right overhand is one of the most powerful punches you can throw. I'd probably say it's harder than a right cross. With a right cross, you're pushing off the back foot in a straight line and you're rotating your ball of the foot, your hip, your shoulder, pulling your left shoulder back, leaning forwards into it and hitting with your knuckles, then back to start. That's a really powerful shot. The benefit from an overhand is that it sneaks in this little gap here, you also get gravity into it. So you want to step offline a little bit, as your arm comes up and over 45 degrees, you're trying to hit in the temple, but you're trying to <coughs> drop your body weight into it as well. So loads of knockouts happen with an overhand, it's a really nice finishing sort of move to add on to the end if your opponent's a bit rocked, you bring it over the top and hit him in the head with it. Uh, you want to make sure that when you throw it, you don't throw past the centre line uh, and leave yourself open. You step off the line, lift your arm up, get your elbow at 90 degrees, hit them with your knuckles into the head and then go back to start. So we're going to start off with a jab cross hook, one, 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 big low kick, boom. Back to start, cross to the body to change up the level, hook to the head and then big right overhand afterwards. After the hook, you can stay there and throw an overhand, or you can do what I just did and step if you want to. So if you want to stay there and overhand, that's okay. If you want to throw the hook and then step offline for an even bigger one, the offline gets your arm and body going through it. Okay? This kind of stays in the middle, which is still powerful, but this lets you go through them. It's a bit like a roundhouse kick. If you stay in the middle, your power finishes in the middle. If you step offline an inch, the kick goes through the opponent. Same with the overhand. Overhand like that, it stays on them, it's still going to be powerful. If you step offline, you get a little bit of extra power. So stepping offline when you hit is also good. So let's take a look at the combo on the bag. Bouncing foot to foot. One, two, three, right low kick. You can do the Dutch style chopping one, or you can just do a normal one. So you can go one, two, three, normal kick, or one, two, three, chop. Then a right cross to the body and a left foot to the head and a right overhand afterwards. I might have a bit fast, let's do a tiny bit slow. One, two, three. Jab, cross, hook. Right low kick. Right cross to the body, left foot to the head, right overhand. You can do those last few punches fast. Or you can break them up a little bit. Either's fine. As long as you get the idea of finishing with that big overhand shot. So let's do a couple of technical ones. When you throw it, you want to put your right hand on them, on their hand, just to stall them for a split second. Stop that right cross coming. So I love that in the throw. One, two, three, check, low kick, right cross, left hook, right overhand. Makes sense to build up the habits of doing that. Slightly more advanced by thinking because you're thinking whether they're going to cross you, so you're stopping it before it actually comes. So we'll do that because it's a good habit to have. <laughs> Sorry, technical one. Jab, cross, hook. As you turn your hips, check the hand. Back to start. Right cross to the body, left hook, right overhand. And again. Okay, let's go full power now. Do three full power ones. Enjoy life. 